Hi everybody, hope everyone's fine. Hey, this weekend I went to um, Erie, Pennsylvania with my wife and uh, we love to go down there and go to the casinos and play around a little bit. But while I was down there, my favorite store is also down there, which is Harbor Freight. I love that store. I go in there and I'm like a kid in a candy store. We don't have any of those kind of stores around here where I live. so. Um, I picked up a few bargains and I picked up this little solar panel that helps maintain battery charge and I thought I would open it up for you and uh, do a little unbox and maybe hook it up. So hang with me and uh, we'll take a look. So this is it. This is the little solar panel that I picked up at uh, Harbor Freight in Erie, Pennsylvania. I just grabbed my receipt here and uh, it cost me $12.99 and uh, I saved $7 off. It was a regular $19.99 so I thought that was a really good deal. And uh, It's a 1.5 watt solar battery charger made by Thunderbolt Solar. Um, it's item number 68692 and it includes the battery uh, DC adapter clamps there as well as the auto lighter adapter it uh, says up here it's suitable for all 12 volt DC batteries and what it does is uh, you put it in your um, car on your dashboard you plug it into your cigarette lighter and it helps maintain your battery on your boat or your car or your golf cart or whatever you have that's a 12 volt so I thought that was a really great idea, so I picked it up, and uh, let's open it up. I mean, really, for the for the price that I paid for this, you can't beat it. It comes with the little suction cups. It comes with the auto lighter, as well as the uh, DC battery clamps. Uh, maximum voltage, 24 volt, 1.5 watt. So if you have a leaky battery, you know, if you have a little leak in your battery, um, this should keep it maintained. And uh, that's what I was thinking about, maybe for a boat or for a car. You could just put it in your windshield and just leave it there. I like the packaging. It's pretty nice and neat. Hey, look at there. The room light is making that blink. That's pretty good. You see that blue light there? That must be an indicator that it's getting enough sun and it's putting out. So there must be a little uh, circuit in here of some kind for charging. I haven't read the manual yet, but I'm assuming so um, for that light to be there. Let's see how we can open it up here. I also. Um, brought in a small battery and put it on the workbench here so that uh, we could test it out clamp it down on something so there's the cigarette adapter and it has the um, ends on it that all the Thunderbolt solar stuff has on it. I've noticed the Magnum brand has the same interlocking connection type thing where it's polarized where you can't switch the negative for the positive. So that's a nice feature there. These are the um, the clips for the battery if you wanted to hook it directly on a battery or a boat or something like that your positive and negative and it also has the uh, the same quick connect clip on it so you get those two I don't really know what's in this uh, little bag here Just cut it open here and see what's in it Oh, you know what these are? These are uh, the suction cups for your window. So you could actually, um, you know, put it on the inside of your car window. 
Um, so there must be a mounting hole on the back of the solar panel itself. So that's what these are, is just little uh, suction cups. Probably not very strong, but uh, nevertheless, they're included. So here's the directions. Um, I'll see if I can put a link to this in the description of the Harbor Freight site and um, let you know exactly uh, where the link is so that you can read more about it if you'd like. Okay, so this is the actual solar panel and it's constructed um, just like my big ones. I also own some Harbor Freight solar panels that are um, 45 watts each and it's the same plastic and everything so uh, yeah nice job on the solar panels here's the back of them here it looks like these uh, these suction cups just stick right in this little keyway so that's I like that oops Yeah. Yep, see how that's blinking along there? Pretty nice. And that's just from the room lights in here, and it's not terribly bright in here either. I brought this battery in. Um, let's hook a, uh, a voltage meter up to it and see what it's sitting at right now. Yeah, this little multimeter I also picked up at Harbor Freight. You know, their their stuff isn't really, really high quality, but it's reasonably priced for someone that just likes to mess around with uh, things without buying top-of-the-line stuff. I've gotten many products there that I probably wouldn't own if it wasn't Harbor, for Harbor Freight because, you know, the... Uh, the commercial units would be just too expensive and I can justify that okay I've hooked up uh, I don't know if you can see that the battery has 12.14 volts in it that's about a 50 percent charge this is an older battery too so it's not gonna be uh, 100 percent no matter what I do to it but uh, all I would have to do, I'm going to use these clamps, so I will plug this in like that. And just remember 12.14, and then we'll check again a little bit later here. Okay, positive to positive, and negative. So the blue light is still flashing here on the side and we're still at 12.14 which isn't surprising I'll add a little more artificial light here and see if that doesn't boost us up a little bit here okay so I'm back um, it's it's been 14 minutes and um, I'm still at 12.14 uh, I did a really rookie mistake I forgot to check to make sure that the solar panel is putting out more than 12.14 volts um, otherwise this battery will never charge in um, with our artificial light and no battery you can see we're only generating um, roughly uh, 11 volts and it's kind of strange how it's pulsating um, if you can see the multimeter there the uh, the power seems to be pulsating and um, it's jumping you know 7 to 5 to 10 so I'm not really sure what that's all about it might be something with this circuitry here I don't really get it. I'm going to have to test this another day out in the car. Obviously this small desk lamp that I'm using for artificial light 
is not going to charge this battery and uh, I should have thought of that and I apologize um, for even trying that but uh, hey I hope you enjoyed this review um, this is the Thunderbolt solar 1.5 watt solar charger and uh, possibly later on we'll get her out in the car and uh, we'll do a true test then so thanks for watching and have a good day Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.